Hi, Gary Cruz with GaryCruz.com. If you're interested in learning how to set up your kiosk in a basic slideshow mode, then watch this video. Today we're going to set up the kiosk with a basic slideshow. First, we have to transfer the images from my Mac over to the PC, which is the Windows 10 kiosk. I've got remote desktop set up here. And if you haven't figured out how to do this over the network, you can also do this on a thumb drive. I went ahead and used Photoshop to resize these images. And basically what I did is I went over to Photoshop, created a new file and set it up under film and video under 2K, which is, or I actually set it up as 4K as uh, 13, 3840 by 2160. And I resized all the images from the source file to that screen orientation. I even set up these uh, guidelines here. Once I scaled those images to fit to the screen accordingly, we'll go ahead and transfer them over. So let's connect over to the Windows 10 kiosk. I should be able to mount this drive. All right, so let's actually go over to my Mac and go to network. Here's kiosk. And you see it says try, it's trying to connect by default. Let's go ahead and connect as administrator. Uh, let's double check if file sharing is enabled. Let's go to Windows, Settings, and Sharing. Manage Advanced Sharing Options. File and Printer Sharing. When File and Printer Sharing is on, files and printers that you've shared on this computer can be accessed by people in the network. So we want to turn File Sharing on and click on Save. And close this out. Switch back over here and connect as you're attempting to connect to the server kiosk. Click connect to continue. And I want to connect as administrator. I want to remember the password so I don't have to type it every time. Connect. All right, I don't see a shared drive here. What I'm looking for is for the D drive. So if we go back to the kiosk, we'll see that we have on this computer a local disk and D. And what we'll do is let's go ahead and set up a shared folder here. I'm going to create a new folder called photos. And let's go ahead and give access to kiosk mode. since I'm going to use this in kiosk mode later. And let's go to properties, sharing, advanced sharing and share this folder. Click on apply and okay. Close. Now let's see if that's shared. There we go, photos. Now I've got some photos here that I've exported from the process. Go to chapter one and I've got 10 photos in here. Let's go ahead and drag those in like this. All right. It's not letting me write to it for some reason. Okay, what's going on? Check the properties here. Oh, because it's read only. And we want to uncheck that, apply it, and click OK. Refresh this. And now we should be able to. No, oh, why is it not letting me write to it? Hmm.
but I don't want that for everyone. Share permissions. Let's go to add. Okay. And we want to add. And then we want the administrator to have full control. Okay. Apply. Okay. And close. Now let's go back over to the Mac. And let's disconnect. Connect as administrator. We've got photos here and hopefully it'll let me write to it. So now I just copy the photos from that I've edited over to the kiosk over the network. Let's switch back over to the kiosk and we'll double check that it's in here. We see chapter one and then we see all the photos. So now the photos are in here. Let's go to windows settings screensaver. You want to change the screensaver, go to settings. Oops. We want to go to photos. And right now it's looking for some default. Uh, let's switch over to where I put the photos. We'll, let's try D photos and click OK. Save. And then let's preview it. And this is on fast speed. So now it's just going through all the photos in order. And this is what will show up on the computer. So let's go check it out downstairs. Here's the kiosk. First, we want to log in. Go ahead and log in as the administrator where I'm testing it. In your case, when you deploy this, you want to put this on kiosk mode and test it out there. So open up the screensaver, click on preview. And then you'll see the screensaver pull up the images in order. Now, this is great when you want to display your photos or maybe your menus as a digital sign. It'll come on automatically and I'll just scroll through them. Here I'm just double clicking one of the photos and it opens up the built in photo app. And it looks like you can interact with it and put it in full screen. And here's where I'm trying not to touch screen. You can swipe left and right to page to the photos and pinch to zoom to zoom in and zoom out. So you can have a digital sign that is also interactive if you wanted to potentially using the photos app. But in what you'll see is that the photos app probably won't work for me. It's nice to see that there's options with the built in applications. And here's another pinch to zoom and the resolution looks pretty good on this screen. Now that we tested it on the screen, let's check out if we can use the photos application as a potential kiosk app. So I got an idea. Let's go to the kiosk, open up photos by clicking the, one of the photos here, click see all photos and skip through this and let's go to folders and add a folder. And from here, let's go to photos, chapter one, add this folder to pictures. Let's do this. Okay. And, uh, let's remove this one. Can I remove this? Hmm. 
I don't think this will work. I'd rather have it sort by name. But as you saw before, you can basically swipe through the photos on the screen and it gives you some basic way of navigating through the photos. But if in kiosk mode, you'll probably just start off with the slideshow mode to keep it locked down. All right, I just entered my username and password for Microsoft and it downloaded. Let's go ahead and launch this. And let's just go to folders, select folder. Ah, very interesting. Okay. Let's see what happens when we launch this in here. one okay, I'm gonna go try this on the screen downstairs I'm gonna pause this recording so here it is media kiosk on the kiosk itself it looks like it has ads and I went through trying to remove it and to upgrade a kiosk pro you can upgrade for eight dollars or rate and review it for a 50 percent discount but I'll skip this for now. Unfortunately, the ads always show up in full screen mode. So I quit and I restarted it and then minimized it to test it out. So as I'm scrolling through here, I'm trying to pinch to zoom and it doesn't work. However, you can see that the app is pretty responsive. You can quickly scroll through the images. Now let's check out the preferences. I unchecked show file names. And there's some options under the track mode. But overall, it looks like a pretty solid app. I just finished editing volume two for this Jose Rizal manga series. So let's go ahead and copy those over to the Windows kiosk. Back over here and on my Mac, we're going to copy chapter two. Let's just preview this real quick. So let's open up chapter or volume two and just take a look at the chapters here. See if they coincide. Got those validated. And let's move them over to the kiosk. Drag this over here. Okay, now let's go over to the remote desktop. Log back in. All right, so how do I add a folder over to this? Let's do this. Since the root folder is photos, I just need to exit out of here. Go back into media kiosk. And now it sees chapter two. So chapter one, chapter two. So chapter one and chapter two. Okay, this might be a good workaround. 
This concludes the tutorial on how to move folders over into your Windows kiosk and set it up as a slideshow or to show it in multiple views using a folder system. The thing is that with Media Kiosk, you'll probably want to remove the ad to try it out. But it looks like it's a good option if you want to have this interactive versus just showing the slideshow pictures and it's not interactive. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you're interested in gadgets and tutorials and technology, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.